All right, so um, you had an ultimatum, and you chose your man and not your family. Tell me about them. I mean, I wouldn't say that I even chose. I just decided not to choose. I continued to live my life the way that I wanted to live it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to leave my husband, but I also didn't want to lose my family, which I guess in hindsight, I kind of did. Is this the first time seeing your brother? Um, not seeing him, but actually being able to speak with him. We were in contact uh, two weeks ago because our grandmother was in the hospital and she was my only connect. But y'all haven't talked to each other? Not really. Y'all no, haven't no. physically no. seen each other? No. No. Not since, since that day. Look, this is your brother's right here. I know. I know you grabbed him your husband's hand, but I think you should grab your brother's hand I too. I know. Are you happy to see him? Yes. Tell him. Don't tell me. I am happy to see you. And, you know, I, it was watching you and seeing pictures of you and I'm like, how much older you've gotten and I'm, it, it's just sad. So what was it like for you when, when your family said you had to choose? It hurt a lot. Um, and obviously in that moment, I got my daughter and I said, let's go, let's leave because I, I don't like being in the center of conflict. Mm -hmm. I, I hate it. I, it, it, um, I felt heartbroken seeing my big sister leave like that with a guy she's known for I don't know how long at that time, maybe a year, over her brother she's known forever, her baby brother. Mm. What are your thoughts about what he just said? It hurts because I understand how he's feeling, but I, I just want everyone to understand how I'm feeling as well because, you know, yes, this is my brother, this is my baby brother. I still had a life to go back to after your graduation party. I couldn't just leave my husband over one incident because my family is mad at him. Does it bother you that they won't forgive him? It does, but I've learned to live with it. Mm -hmm. How long were y'all together before he cheated? It actually happened shortly after we got together, correct? Yes, correct. Um, <clears throat> so you're together for three months, you got married. We were actually, we got married together seven months because um, we got together in October, we got married in May. Mm -hmm. He cheated on me in April. Okay. And when that happened, you told your family? I didn't find out until a year later. So you found out after the pool party or before? Um, before. The before the pool. It was a couple months before. And you told your family? I did. I talked to my sister about it. Got it. Okay. How long have you two been married again? Five years? Yes. Okay. Makes sense here. Um, listen, we have Kylie and James' um, sister, Heather, um, who also was involved in this argument at the party. And I want to hear what she has to say. So everyone, please welcome Heather to the show. Hey Heather, thanks for being here. So please tell me, what is your view on Michael? Um, he's very impersonable, kind of like, you know, he has this tough guy exterior, um, like don't mess with me instantly. Um, it's hard to joke or to tell if um, he's joking with you. Almost like somebody has done him so wrong that he's afraid mm -hmm. to laugh and just have a good time it, and which like, is true. let loose. Mike, it's how do you true. feel? It's, it's very true. Yeah. Heather, what's your relationship like with Kylie? We're best friends. Um, Still we to talk this day? Almost. Yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, there was that hiccup when the whole party happened. It Probably about eight months later, I would say that me and her kind of rekindled, but with restrictions. Um, you know, but we talk every single day. Um, she's actually coming to visit me next weekend um, without Mike, uh, because that is a a big problem, obviously. So and even though you two are why, even though you two are close, Heather, you won't accept Mike in your life either. Um, it's not that I won't accept him. It's just there's too much drama throughout the whole entire family that I have to choose wisely on my decisions. Hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more, so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you.